Welcome back to another episode of What on Earth. This time we're going to the Southern Hemisphere and asking, what on earth is the Sam? Sam isn't just the name of my old housemate, it also stands for the Southern Annular Mode. Annular meaning ring-like, and it is the dominant mode of variability in the Southern Hemisphere. That means that it influences the weather and climate across the whole Southern Hemisphere and particularly has a strong influence on Antarctic weather and climate. So it describes this band or belt of westerly winds that circles the Antarctic continent. If you've ever heard of the Roaring Forties, this is the same phenomenon. These really strong winds that occur between around 40 and 60 degrees south in the Southern Hemisphere. Now the SAM is measured as an index and it can be either positive or negative. So when it's negative, that band or belt of westerly winds is further towards the equator. And that brings particularly stormy weather to Australia, especially in the seasons of winter and autumn. On the flip side, when it's more positive, the SAM brings much more warm maritime air from over the ocean across the Antarctic Peninsula, which can actually generate these fern winds. And if you need a refresher on how fern winds work, make sure you check out a previous video in this series. The SAM influences the ocean as well, because wherever you've got higher winds, that can trigger more upwelling of natural carbon to the surface. When you've got more natural carbon at the surface of the ocean, that means it's less able to suck up and store atmospheric carbon dioxide. That, of course, is a problem if we're thinking about long-term climate change. The SAM index describes how far north or south that belt of winds is, and in recent years, especially in summer, we've seen a trend towards a more positive SAM. That has led to an increased frequency of fern-driven warming on ice shelves over the Antarctic Peninsula, and also is responsible for the big dry drought conditions in Australia. If this continues into the future, this could further compromise the stability of these ice shelves and also could contribute to changing climate conditions and reduced water availability in countries like Australia and New Zealand.